Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about Business Intelligence Engineering Roadmap. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, this video I'm creating because I got requests from someone on LinkedIn and they asked me for uh, like BI roadmap. So here it is. Uh, so first of all, like I want to make one thing clear, like people have a perception that if someone is working as a PI engineer or or someone uh, like titles are very deceiving, as I always say, business analyst sometimes or sometimes as a BI analyst or data analyst. So they have a kind of uh, roles and responsibilities that are like mix match of all the roles. But uh, so uh, my point here is if you are working as a BI, it's not the fact that you only will be creating dashboards. You will be working on all the skills which I have stated here. So let's discuss one by one. So if you are working as a BI or you are planning to transition to a BI role, business intelligence engineer or BI analyst or data analyst. So these are the skills you must have. So first of all, you must know to write a ETL pipeline. So that is extract, transform and load. So you must know like how to create because sometimes you might be getting some use cases in which stakeholder has asked some reporting solution for which you have to uh, like deal with multiple sources and you have to extract the data from those multiple sources, transform as per the business needs and load it to a data warehouse and you connect that data warehouse to a reporting tool and give access to your stakeholder to that reporting tool. So this is how a BI works. And there are sometimes requirements where, where you have to uh, like provide solution to your business stakeholders in Excel. So you must know some uh, like uh, pivoting in Excel, uh, these kind of stuffs and like some uh, applying formulas and doing reporting in Excel. Excel is a very good reporting tool though. Uh, I have used so many times Excel, but um, not always, but sometimes, yeah, there are some stakeholders, they ask uh, data in Excel. So that time I have to work in Excel. I have so when I have used Excel, I have mostly used uh, like formulas in Excel uh, and pivoting. I have used a lot in Excel. So these are some uh, tools uh, like some functions which I have used a lot in Excel. So there is a, a now you need to write a SQL query in a form that um, that you should be able to provide that reporting solution because you do not have like what uh, your stakeholder has asked you do not have as is data available so definitely you need to play around so you might need to aggregate your data so you must know like aggregation uh, in your data you might need to group your data so based on your business use case you might need to uh, like do some calculations you must know case when a uh, i have used case when a lot in my sql uh, and uh, so uh, as part of sql that you will be using most of the time window functions uh, as a bi engineer you use a lot uh, window functions ctes and uh, temporary tables so um, these are the things uh, these are the advanced sql um, things that you use a lot as a BI engineer and then uh, you must know uh, like data warehousing as well so you might not to create as data engineer create the data warehouse from the scratch so as a BI engineer you might not have to create the data engineer from the scratch but you might have to support uh, like data engineers in creating some fact tables adding some uh, as per your reporting solution you might need to add fact tables dimension tables so uh, sometimes these are automated using python so it's you might not know uh, that much knowledge in uh, python and all but having a basic knowledge of coding is important as a bi engineer as well and you might need to have a knowledge of data warehousing concept uh, you must know like what is star schema, snowflake schema, like galaxy schema. I have discussed about where data warehouse in detail in my other uh, videos. You may check out that. I'll share the link uh, below as well. 
so and uh, you must know like latest cloud technologies which is a must to know nowadays you must know like how to use amazon redshift or google uh, uh, like azure and like bigquery gcp cloud so those things you uh, like you can do basic udemy courses on that and you can have that level of skill which is required as part of a business analyst or bi engineer or data analyst and then you must be very good at reporting tools so uh, you you must know at least two or knowing as many as bi tools is good because uh, different industries use different tools no two industries use same tools so as per their business need their use cases their requirement they use the tools as what they are using but mostly what i have seen is like mostly which i have worked in my uh, data career or the companies which i worked for they have mostly used either tableau quicksight power bi so these are the three tools which around which i have uh, provided my reporting solutions so if you know all these things as a, a business intelligence engineer or business intelligence analyst or a business analyst so this will uh, hopefully uh, get you a job as a bi engineer and so uh, like how does a project life cycle of a bi looks like so it is very same as it's for software engineers or uh, data engineers the same way it looks like for a bi engineer so uh, they have a stand up meetings and sometimes company use agile project methodology in which they have either two weeks or three weeks or four weeks of cycle as per as per the team or how that team follows and how complex are their use cases so they might have decided a timeline for example uh, you might be working in a team that follows a three week uh, life cycle project life cycle so uh, like in first week uh, they might be having some uh, tool in which like uh, people from different teams or different project managers or different st stakeholders whoever needs some data from your team they might uh, raise tickets there saying okay i need this data i need access to this dashboard i need this kind of data so uh, like in first week or first day of your like when your agile project starts so uh, your manager or scrum master or somebody in a in your team who runs that meeting they will come together and decide okay who will work on what task so based on that they will divide task among selves and then as a individual bi user when you know what all all the tasks that are assigned to you you will start working on them sometimes so there are uh, two kinds of solution that you are able to provide one is like uh, if the request you need to know like if the request that you are being assigned it is one time request or it is recurring request like the stakeholder needs that report uh, for everyone he he wants to, uh, that report to be refreshed every week every day every month so these are the questions you ask your stakeholders like what is the frequency of the report is this one time request or uh, you are going to need that request every time or so based on that you provide the reporting solution to your use case and this is a, and by the end of the project life cycle or like agile project life cycle or third week you deliver all your data requests and this is a very simple project life cycle of a bi and let's uh, try to understand this life cycle with a business use case so suppose uh, if some manager uh, you are say working for a banking company and a business user comes to you and ask you okay i want to see a month over month comparison report in which you display the um, savings account data uh, in a dashboard i want to see that and i want that report to me delivered every first of the month and i want to do that comparison with the previous month data so as a bi engineer what you will do what solution you will provide so uh, what are the different data points that you can provide to your manager what are the what is the granularity of the data like how granular your data can be 
सो वॉट आर द फीचर्स लाइक वॉट आर द फिल्टर्स फीचर्स दैट यू कैन इंक्लूड इन यूर रिपोर्टिंग सो दैट ही कैन हैव द मैग्जिम व्यू ऑफ द लाइक हिज रिक्वेस्ट सो दैट वुड हेल्प हिम टू टेक सम बिजनेस डिसीजन सो इट विल हेल्प हिम फर्दर इन हिज बिजनेस so what uh, so as a month over month reports for the savings account what are the things that you can provide to him in his report okay you can do like what are the total savings account they have as of now and how many open in which month of the year so if you know like how many accounts opened in month of may how many accounts open in month of june so you can do that comparison right okay this is the percentage increase or decrease so this is you can add uh, you can add like quarterly comparison weekly comparison like how many new users are added how many users left what was the category of the user like what, in which reason most of the users are added what was their gender what was the were the age group of them what was their income group so these are the filters based on your uh, like data sources and what kind of data is available that kind of solution you can provide so this is how a, a bi engineer business analyst or bi analyst to work on and um, your reporting solution always depends on like what is the frequency of data needed suppose uh, this uh, solution like which i discussed as uh, it is mentioned here the manager was interested in this report for every month so you you refresh this data every month for him and you provide that uh, dashboard link to him so he can have a look at that report and sometimes uh, there might be a one time request okay i need the count of this just for the one time i am doing working on some project and i just quickly need this data so at that time you provide that data in excel you might not need to go to the dashboard or you just uh, create a extract uh, and provide that solution so sometimes uh, it is solved by just like that so based on your use case you always go for the solution so this is all about uh, business intelligence engineer road map use case and let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions and thank you for watching my video do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much